Hi, this is Darren from AppRadar. Welcome to the video. Now, today I'm going to be doing a Word Hero review and demo. Now, I got this product because I was in the marketplace for a new content writer. And uh, when I started checking about online, they were doing some really good deals. So the deal that they've got running at this moment in time, which is slightly different to some of the other reviews, is $89 for the lifetime deal. So basically what this means is you pay $89 once and that's it. You don't have to pay another penny. The thing that really clenched the deal for me was the fact that it does unlimited copy forever. Now, what this basically means is you pay your one time fee and then you can write as much copy as you want. Other programs like Jarvis, they do what's called a token system. Now, that token system means that when you get your subscription, so I pay $100 a month for Jarvis and uh, I only get 100,000 words and it doesn't take long to use up those 100,000 words, believe me. So the unlimited copy forever like was an absolutely great deal. What I didn't realize is when I um, initially bought this was um, Word Hero is broken basically down into um, two parts of the software. So one is like the main part of the software, which I'm going to show you shortly when I do the demo. And one's the long form editor. And that's really what I bought it for. The long form editor isn't included in this price. OK, it does tell you here that the editor mode is not included in the deal. So it's just an additional add-on for $59, but it's absolutely worth getting. So basically for $148 all in, um, I got this program and I'm going to take it through this process to really see whether um, it actually performs as well as what Jarvis does. So if you want to take advantage of this deal at this moment in time, um, I have left a link in the description below so you can go and check it out. Because what I would just sort of mention is... They do tell you here on AppSumo that, that's, that this unlimited offer is going to end soon. How soon it ends, um, I guess nobody knows, but that's what's going to happen. So do take advantage of that because it's, it's well worth getting. So, like I said, the system is broken up into two, in, into two uh, parts, basically, as, as for what I can see. So you've got what I guess I would call it the short term, or so the, the, the short copy. So you'll be doing like blog headlines and things like that. And obviously then you've got the editor, which I'm going to get into shortly because that's the main part that I want to show you. But what I found really interesting about some of these nodes um, when I actually logged in this morning was they do some like really interesting ones. And this one here really stuck out to me. Explain it like a professor. Now. You can use this to try and get your uh, rich snippet in Google. And if you're not really too sure what rich snippets are, um, when you do like a search in Google, it's this thing here that's at the top. So this thing will actually do that for you. So if I put in um, do golden doodles shed and you write that, it basically spits out the content. OK, and it kind of talks as if it's a professor and that is something that um google likes it it basically wants it very basic very textbook very to the point so um a golden doodle is cross between purebred golden retriever and purebred standard poodle as such they do not share and can be used as an alternative to the two breeds so it, it, it kind of gives that precise thing to the point, which I think is absolutely great. So what you could do is you could create your blog, um, your blog post, and then you could like answer that question by using this um, by using this tool here itself. So I'm going to get into the actual editor itself, because this is the thing that I really want to be sort of playing about with. And um, what I'm going to explain before we actually get into this is. If you want to use one of these copywriting tools, the best thing to do is actually go out and do some basic research on your article first. So you really want to know roughly what it is that you want to write about. And you also then want to go down and basically break your content down into a few parts. Now, what I always tend to do is I go out and I research my title first. I then craft the title. And then I sort of go and look for, um, you know, some of the questions that people are asking and they're going to be my H2 and H3 headings. And that's how I recommend that you do it. You can use these here. But what I've always found um, with a lot of these tools um, is that when you like uh, when you use these nodes here, 
they don't really give you um, like a very good um, outline or titles and things like that. So it's always best to go out and do it yourself. That way, then you're going to get a much better idea um, of how powerful these things are. And you're going to get a much better um, article written. So I've already gone away and I've already done this um, and I've created my basic outline. So I'm going to sort of carry on with do go do golden doodle shed the truth behind the mess okay this is the article that i want to go and write about so what i've done is i've gone and i've created all of my h2s um, and h3s and uh, i'll also do a conclusion as well and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use or i'm going to see if i can use um the blog conclusion to see whether it comes up so what i actually really like about this dashboard um is the fact that it's dead basic it's you know, like simple to use because when you log into jarvis um it can be quite uh, complicated to get sort of to use and i logged into this this morning when i bought it and i could sort of like start using it almost straight away so what I noticed is the main three buttons that you're going to be using when you're actually writing your content is these three buttons here. So you basically got blog outline, blog intro, and basically write more. So what this will do, this will just flesh out your content. So as with a lot of AI writers, um, you can either put your cursor where you want it to go and then do a space and then write more, or we can actually do intro. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that, highlight it, and I'm going to do an intro to that actual subheading itself. And we're going to basically see what this does. Right, it's actually writing quite slowly, which I don't think is a big deal. Um, it's certainly typing a lot quicker than probably what I could do. But okay, so how much do golden doodles share? Golden doodles are a cross between golden retriever and poodle. They share quality of both breeds, intelligence, loyalty, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so golden doodles have a reputation for not shedding as much as their golden retriever parent. The truth is actually they shed just as much as their poodle parent. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's kind of on topic then. <clears throat> So I will do a blog intro on that. What you tend to find with these programs is what I was sort of saying about um, if you use something like Jarvis, you can soon use up that, um, that 100,000 word token because some of the content that it actually chucks out won't really be right. So some golden, why, why some golden doodles shed more? The golden doodle is a mirror mix between her for the best of both bees. Okay, so it's not really answered the question right. Um, so the golden doodle is a mix, so it's basically kind of saying what that says up there. So what I will do is I will help it along a little bit okay so it's kind of put it on topic this time so why golden do shed more um it's not really said why some of them shed more but it's certainly given us a much better answer than what it did last time so this is like one of the most important things about the ai copywriters because a lot of people come in they use it they just push the buttons and expect it to spit out great content what it really needs to be doing is um, helping you or assisting you in actually writing your content itself. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, a golden doodles generation affects shedding. So let's see if it writes anything exciting for that. I'm actually liking how it... Um, it kind of simulates or actually writes it for you. So you can kind of see what it's actually writing. It's taken a little bit more time than, I say, what its competitors do, but it's certainly doing a great job. So, 
Okay, <clears throat> so a golden doodle generation effect shedding. So it's not, again, it's not really answered that question. So if we get rid of that. Okay, so that's actually answered the question better. So you see, when you try and help it along and you put something in to kind of prompt it, it will actually write about one. So the golden doodles generation effect shedding. Uh, the golden doodles generation effect shedding because of the way in which they were bred. They were originally cross. They were originally created by crossing two different breeds together. So that really does sort of answer it. And it is sort of on topic, which is like pretty cool actually. So the F1. I do kind of know because I again I did a little bit of research. So the F1, <coughs> the F1 um, Golden Doodle shedding. So this basically means this was like like the parent. So let's see if it um, creates anything there for us. Let's see if it keeps it on topic. Okay, so it's not really, again, it's not really giving us anything concrete from doing that. So if we put, see, so that's a lot better now. So um, it's actually now talking about, because obviously like F1 is is like, uh, like the generation. So it's F1, F2. So F0 is the actual generation of the dog so that is like you know the poodle and the golden retriever <coughs> so it's now basically got that on topic so what i'm going to do is you know rather than just doing this whole video on on fleshing these out i will pause the video and i'll just flesh these out okay so i've just basically fleshed out the article a little bit um what i've really done is just taken like those subheadings and literally just done what i um, showed you earlier on so i was either um, highlighting this and then doing like the blog intro um, on some of them I had to sort of like prompt it and write a little bit so the ones down here like um, golden doodle grooming tips it didn't really give me anything uh, concrete to work with so I basically started off and did like number one make sure you brush and then it carried on and then two be careful not to etc so um, you could then probably just like do number five um, and do the best so i would have thought it might sort of say the best way or the best thing you can use so we'll see what it comes up with i'll basically just like like this one um yeah the best way to prevent shedding um so i wanted to let this run through just so you can sort of see what i did to get it to prompt to actually write the things that, that i needed to write i'm actually quite impressed with this at this moment in time like because it is quite simple to use once you actually get into it um, and you kind of understand what the functions do and really how the the actual AI writer works in terms of um, the algorithms and things like that that it's actually working for so we have basically got to um, we're, we're on 729 words at this moment in time and it's like it's kind of fleshed it out pretty well um, which I'm quite impressed with so what we're going to do now we're going to try and expand on it now um, and see if it will sort of write more so we've got how much do go, uh, golden doodles shed um, in fact what I'll do is I will come up here and uh, we'll do a blog intro now so if we just write a blog intro to see what it comes up with I do kind of like it how it how it sort of writes it's almost like the matrix thing where it's like writing um say so it doesn't it, do, it doesn't do it quick so if you really want to spit out a lot of content quickly um i don't know probably it probably wouldn't be very good for that i'm not too sure but so you've done a really good job of that so do get that back about do gold and do the shed a lot it's a question that many potential owners um are these hypoallergenic dogs want to know the question is yes but yeah so it's actually kept on top and it's really good so i'm going to um expand on this a little bit now and uh i'm going to put my cursor there and just click on write more and see what it does so we're doing uh, how much do this shared well, that's quite interesting so it's kind of spat out a little bit more um a little bit more content <laughs> and it's more about how you care about your dog and anything else and obviously that would be like a fact 
so you'd have to sort of go out and do fact checker or something like that um but it's actually doing quite well um let's expand that a little bit more and do right in so hopefully what it should do it should read that top it should read that top paragraph <clears throat> okay yeah so question what does the mean in this sentence okay so it won't let us do it like that so we will do that again and then just sort of like drop them down <laughs> I was kind of hoping that you could probably like do a space and then allow it to what's some columns of golden doodles okay so it's kind of made <clears throat> it's kind of made like a h3 for us um so we could probably do that as a h3 maybe So why some golden doodle shed more? Let's see if it'll expand on that. So you can basically see what you really need to do. You need to be prompting it. You need to give it um, a good outline to start with. And then what's that come up? How do I use a ray of string for my search query? Okay, so it's kind of like... I don't know whether that's because it doesn't quite understand what I want it to do. Um, also, if, uh, but yeah, okay, why the shed moss? Okay, so it's still answering it quite well. Um, yeah, so, you know, you need to have a decent blog outline anyway uh, in your head. You can't just come in here and expect to push a button and it spits out really good content. So you have got to prompt it, and that's the whole point of it. You've got to make sure that you uh, give it enough information to work on. But I'm really impressed with that at this moment in time. I mean, we've got like 800, nearly 900 words. Um, and it's kind of like took, I mean, obviously with the talking and whatnot, um, it took around about sort of 15 minutes at this moment in time. So it's actually written a really nice, really nice article. Um, it reads well. Um, it's not like the usual rubbish that some of these spit out. So our, so our golden doodles for me. So this is really going to be um, the conclusion so i'm going to try and put that there and do i don't know whether i'm going to need that or whether i can just write conclusion so let's put the cursor there do the right block conclusion okay no so i have got to put it in so let's see what it spits out for us so obviously what it's doing is going through the moment. So in conclusion, Golden Doodle is an amazing dog for many people. These pups aren't shared, so they are perfect. I quite like that. Okay, so yeah, to copy it, um, to copy, you just click on it, and it, sometimes you have to highlight it and smooth the program but you just click on it and it copies that's a really good idea so are they good for me <clears throat> they will write that in so in conclusion golden doodles are versatile dog breed with a variation um ver a variety of of colorful coats so it's actually wrote quite a good conclusion as well so to wrap up this word hero review i really like the program it runs really smoothly it's simple to use, and as you can see, it does churn out some really quality content. I think using it a lot more, playing about with it, I can actually learn how the algorithm's working better. So I can actually craft all of my content to put into Word Hero in the first place. So it does kind of get the, uh, the writing on point straight from the outset. The thing that I didn't like too much about it at this moment in time is how slow it writes. Using something like Jarvis, it really is lightning fast. You put it in and it just spits out the content. That being said, for $150, I think you've got an absolute bargain here. So if you do want to take advantage of that, then again, I have put the link in the description below where you can go ahead and pick up a copy of Word Hero today. Thank you very much for watching this review video. I'll speak to you again soon.